Talk about. I want to tell you about Mission to the Cities. Now let me tell you why that's important. 87% of the Oakwood University student population come from the cities. Miami, New York, San Diego, Los Angeles, and all points in between. And so Mission to the Cities is something that we actually specialize in, Elder Kibble. We were born to do that. Those of us who were born in the cities, in fact, it's the only kind of ministry most of us actually know. Well, guess what? We graduate students and they go back to the cities and they try to make a difference where they are. We have done that and continue to do that. And I'd like now, this focus is kind of on the Lake Region Conference. I heard Lake Region mentioned as one of our founding conferences. Yes, great conference, the Great Lake Region Conference. They sent us a young person just as you will continue sending them. And we will, as you send them, we will equip and outfit them to do ministry in the cities. And when they do it, guess what? The media catches it, and they caught this young man's ministry. Watch. But for a young man who is headed down the wrong road, it just may have saved his life. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell shows us how a mentor made all the difference by pointing him in the right direction. Tavon Dillon's mom says she watched it happen. He started hanging out with the wrong crowd. Her son became a stereotype. Another lost boy in Detroit with a dad in prison for dealing drugs. His father, unfortunately, took a road that I saw him taking. And he got into the drug life real bad. And it sent him away for eight to nine years. His mom just knew where he would end up. In jail, grave. Getting here and seeing all the young people involved in church voluntarily, it's amazing. So talking to him like this, by Skype, about Christian college life is surreal. She says it's because a neighbor called the cops on her son for gambling, felt bad, then took time to talk to him. After that, we just started hanging out and he started showing me all his friends and all his friends were just like happy people. And I knew from then that I wanted happy people around me. I started asking like, man, you ever thought about college? It was never in my mind that I was going to college. I was stuck doing nonsense all my life. Tavon's life came to a pivot point just weeks ago in this very driveway. He got into an argument with some suspected gang members. One of them pulled out a gun and shot at him twice. I was right there. I didn't know what was going to happen. I grew up in Holland Park, and I watched a lot of my friends get killed. I would show him, you know, the obituaries that I had. So like, you do not want to be a part of that. So I was like, the best place for you to go is leave. Tucson Knight, who is deputy mayor for District 4 for the mayor's office, helped Tavon get his GED and apply for college. It was late. Tavon was turned down by schools. Tucson called his alma mater, Oakwood University in Alabama, and gave Tavon an edge. He didn't hear anything back until three days before the semester started. There was room. He had shot me a text, said, you're in. And I was like, so if you really want to go, you know, I, we can leave Sunday. I'll take you down there myself. He's smart. He's, he's just too smart to have been going down the path that he was going. When you enter Oakwood University, a sign says enter to learn. When you leave, there's a sign that says exit to serve. Tavon hopes to do just that. The teen that weeks ago was involved in, quote, nonsense with gang members has declared social work his major. The reason? He's looking for a way to do for others what Tucson has done for him. I want to help more kids get off the streets, of course, and come to college because college is an experience everybody has to experience. I'm telling you, it's something magical here. And you can help, too. Tucson has started a mentoring program to do more magic. You can change someone's life. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Making a difference. All right, That's all right, all right, all right. And you say amen. That's why we're here. This is what we do. City ministry is new to some people, Elder, but we've been doing it all our lives. I wish I could say that that was all to the story, but I'm pleased to report to you that that's not all to the story. Because on November 13, right here in the Oakwood University Church Sanctuary, at AY service, something amazing happened. I'd like you to see it. We have my brothers, Christian Sawyers, from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and Tavon Dillon from Detroit, Michigan.
to me. I talk to Tavon. I'm not going to be labor. Let's do it. Tavon and Christian. <laughs> because of your love for Jesus Christ, we now baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. May the people of God make some noise. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what we do here at Oakwood University. And would you like to hear something more? There were 11 people who came down, young people who came to watch him be baptized because he, he was the leader. And guess what happened? All 11 of them got baptized that night here at the Oakwood University Church. Along with 25 other young people, 36 people were baptized that night. This is what we do at Oakwood University. This is what we do. It may be strange to other people, but it's what we do. We are not ashamed of the gospel. Oh, I'm starting to feel something now. I better stop. I better stop, Pastor Wilson. You've been generous. You've been generous. It's time to stop. I better stop. Let me just tell you, ladies and gentlemen, we're on a mission, and we want to make that mission affordable. We want to make it affordable. Guess what? Guess what we've come up with? We believe that Oakwood is the best place to receive a thorough Seventh-day Adventist education, and just like Elder Crow said, it's desegregated. <laughs> now, many of us are in regional conferences, and we're not peoples of African descent, but we work in regional conferences. Oakwood is the school for your young people. That'll land, that'll land. It is the school for your young people. The experience of being thoroughly Seventh-day Adventist and thoroughly mission-focused, you can't beat it anywhere. And we are unashamedly a Seventh-day Adventist institution. Unashamedly. And so we welcome you to participate in that experience. We want to make it, we want to make it affordable for you. Uh, one of the ways we do that is we've created other income streams. By now, many of you know that we are the proud owners of two edible arrangement stores, which give us control of all of Northern Alabama. We are taking that money and we are using it to help students matriculate we have voted for two years in a row a zero tuition increase because we need to keep this affordable but here is the newest program that we're rolling out a church subsidy matching scholarship Oakwood University will match up to 30 percent of tuition and matriculation fees for students who already receive 70 percent subsidies from church related employers and thus students could receive a total of 100% free tuition at Oakwood University. Okay, okay, it'll land, it'll land. The material's being distributed. We are not ashamed. Malcolm, come stand down front so they can see you. This is Brother Malcolm Taylor, who directs our enrollment management team. Many of you know Malcolm. He worked, his daddy worked in Breath of Life. And he was little Malcolm then, but now he's big Malcolm, and he's doing tremendous work for us here at Oakwood University. And so we're very grateful for that. So there's information there. And then, guess what? If you started your education and somehow you fell out, then we want you to know we want you to come back. So we've put in place a debt amnesty program. That's how serious we are about the Oakwood experience and keeping it accessible to all of our young people. So with that said, that's a lot of information for you. You can see some of the slides up there, but we have the information, it's in print. Visit the Oakwood booth and it'll be there for you. Now, one other thing, Brother Pastor, I just received it. Um, I'm changing gears completely. I'm changing gears completely. I received the message from Dr. Delbert Baker. First of all, he wants all of us to know that he wishes that he could be here with us. By now, most of you have heard that Dr. Baker is the president of African Adventist University in Nairobi. How many of you knew that? Okay, so that's the newest assignment. Now, to say that the event, so I'm gonna break one of the Adventist codes now. 
Um, to say that the events of this summer were stunning is an understatement. For those of us who served on the nominating committee, Pastor Bird, Elder Winston, I see quite a few. Uh, to say we were stunned is an understatement. Um, unexplicable, inexplicable to us and unanticipated set of actions. And to my other friends who are not, you know, from our particular people group, let, let me tell you why that was so important to us. Because if our best and brightest could be handled in this way, then we went to the story of Esther. You remember what Mordecai said? He said, don't think you are so different, Esther. Don't be fooled by the illusion of inclusion. Because what happens to us can happen to you. And it was painful to watch. That said, that said, Dr. Baker wants all of us to know that he and Susan are fine that they believe they are walking in God's will and that God has placed them where he has placed them and they are looking forward to doing tremendous work. And so he wants you to know, he and I have talked a number of times, he wants you to know that he and Susan are okay and they want to close this chapter as they leave 2015 and they're excited about the new assignment that God has given them. So with him being the former president of our institution here at Oakwood, we love him, we love Susan, we love all of the boys and their families, and we wish them well, and he sends his greetings. May God bless you, and let's keep the Baker family in prayer, and let's pray for Oakwood University as we continue, because Oakwood is on a mission. Amen.